Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. Hey everybody, it's Mother Goose, and welcome to my channel. So, I just want to start by apologizing. I'm sorry this last week was very busy for me, so I didn't really have enough time to post. I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the videos I did post, but we are back to normal content today and for the next couple of weeks. So... Let's freaking do this. Now, gather around my flock. Mother Goose has a story to tell you. When I was 14, my family had the ugliest, I'm telling you, ugliest brown slash orange carpet. It was disgusting. And for some weird reason, as a kid, I loved that carpet. I thought it was so cool. But looking back, uh, guh. Lee. So my parents decide, we're gonna tear it up, there's hardwood floor under, we're gonna get ourselves a nice hardwood floor, we're gonna do it ourselves. So that's what they do. They tear up the carpet, and they start sanding it. While you are sanding the floor, you have to have a way to ventilate the room so all that dust doesn't just accumulate. And it's super unhealthy to breathe, so my parents decided, we're just gonna leave the front door open and let the air out. Now, little side note, little tidbit that you guys should know. I grew up on a ranch. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't expect that. I'm a country boy. But no, really, I grew up on a ranch. I raised all kinds of animals, horses, cows, goats, chickens. I had three llamas at one point that all just randomly disappeared. I'm pretty sure a mountain lion got them. We had a lot of bears and mountain lions. But you know what else we had? Snakes. And we had big snakes. I'm talking six to eight feet long snakes. I'm outside just chilling and I decide to come in for some lunch. Come in, make myself a sandwich. You know, you gotta get that ham and cheese. And I decide, okay, I'm gonna go sit down. It's just a normal day gonna sit on my couch, gonna watch some cartoons, gonna eat my sandwich. So I walk into my living room, I'm about to sit down, and I look down, and all I see is about this much of a body of a snake in between my couch cushions. And I kind of look, and I'm like, nah, that can't be a snake. And then it just kind of slithers deeper into the couch. I just kind of put my sandwich down, and I yelled at my mom, Hey mom, there's a snake in the couch. And she comes, and she's like, what kind of snake is it? Because where I grew up, we had primarily two types of snakes, rattlesnakes and bull snakes. Bull snakes are chill, they eat the rattlesnakes, so we try and typically keep them alive. Uh, unless, you know, they're causing us any issues. And by issues, I mean, you know, getting in our house. <laughs> So, I told my mom, I don't really know, and I just start slowly lifting away the couch cushions to where I could see the back of the snake. Luckily, it was just a bull snake, but this thing was long. It had to at least been five feet. Not the longest snake I've seen, but, you know, you don't really want a five-foot snake in your couch. So it's just a bull snake, and my mom is like, okay, go close the front door so that no other snakes get inside. I go to close the front door and I look to my left and I kid you not, there was another snake just chilling in the corner and this one was much larger, much, much larger. This thing had to at least been eight feet and when I say this was a fat snake, this snake was thick. So I just kind of look over to my mom and I'm like, mom, you're not going to believe it. She's like, what? It's like, there's another snake in the house. This, okay, this snake was also a bull snake. So it wasn't like it was a big deal, but we didn't want the snake eating our cats. So we go get some brooms and we just kind of sweep the snake away. We sweep at it. We scare it away and it leaves. It was pretty chill. I'm not going to lie. This guy was like, hey, I'm in your home. Sorry to intrude, goodbye. That snake wasn't really an issue. So we go back and we 
we're going to grab the first snake, which again, still in the couch, and we remove all the cushions from the couch, and of course, it didn't like this. So what's it do? It actually goes inside the couch. And of course, there's no way for us to get it, so what do we do? We flip the couch over, hoping, you know, the bottom of the couch has, you know, is open so we can actually get it. And of course it's not. So we had to cut a hole in the bottom of the couch. Oh my gosh. I was so frustrated. So we flip the couch to where it's standing vertically. We cut a hole in the bottom of the couch. And then we just push a trash can right against it. And we just sit. And we waited for hours for this snake to crawl out. I know it was just scared. It didn't mean to come into the house. Well, I mean, it meant to. It was probably hot outside and was just looking for a cool place to be. But it didn't want to cause any trouble. And now it's stuck in this weird couch with, like, three cats and three humans just waiting for it to come out. It was just scared. Anyway, it was liter literally hours. We were just sitting watching movies. I was just sitting on the floor watching and waiting. And finally... It slithered on out of the couch into the trash can, and my dad just picked up the trash can, walked to the front door, and yeeted that snake out of the house. Let me tell you what, I had never seen a snake fly before that day, but that is a sight to see. I thought he was just gonna put it on the ground and like, you know, shake it out so it crawled out. No, he just tossed that thing outside into a tree. I think the snake was okay. It just kind of crawled away. The first snake also, well, no, I guess that was the first snake. The second snake, the bigger one, I actually saw that snake for a few days hiding under the tree that my dad yeeted the first snake into. Kind of just made it its home. That's the time I had snakes in my couch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to join the flock so you don't miss content like this. I have many more ranch stories to tell you guys. My wiener dog chased a bear. My donkey tried to kill me. I tried to run away with only a bottle of Sprite. Just let me know in the comments what story do you guys want to hear. I will see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.